Can I send an email tonight? I mean, from a laptop. You have an email account? Of course not. I would like to use yours. Okay. Lasse? Yes, you know? Why didn't you want to show me your poems? You must have written hundreds of them since we met each other. I already told you I am writing for myself. Yes, but I phoned one of my friends this morning. She knows someone who could help you to publish your poems. No, I don't want that. What I am writing, I am writing for a different purpose. Now, what kind of purpose? To scrape through life as a true poet? I am not one of those people who writes to become famous and make big money. So why are you writing so much? Writing and poetry are simply part of me. As well as traveling, I know. You already mentioned that. You know, I think you're quite strange. Sometimes I get the impression that you're living in a different I world. I don't expect you to understand me. Not many people do it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. All right, no problem. So let's go. The day is too beautiful to spend without you. Every day is too beautiful to spend without you. We are going. Come on. Just don't think you'll get a penny back if you're just gonna stare out of the window all night. Uh, sure. Let's talk a little. Talk? Why not? What kind of guy are you? Paying all that money just to wait on? Who said I only want to talk? Fuck, I'm not into cycles. I won't tell you my life story. And I'm warning you, don't try to do anything stupid. All right. So how about... I tell you something. How about I give you blowjob and you just fuck off? You know, most of the time, I'm a loser. Just the very one who is standing now right in front of you. But sometimes 
it's different then from someone special in my life makes sense from someone so who are you then from someone who helps others in their misery someone who delivers them from from their fate someone who protects and liberates i'm who batman no, no. you know what it's not my job to listen to this rubbish my job is to do something else Not only showing the helpless their path, I'm saving them. I'm saving them. Did you hear me? I'm saving them! There are no new adventures to report. In fact, the moment has come, and in peace my decision majored. Finally, I feel that the time of traveling is coming to an end. Now we will return home, together, and our eternal dream will come true. I so appreciate the way you have been waiting patiently. We will meet again, at the usual place, by the time the sun blessedly smiles for the fourth time. Our aspiration will be nursed. Good morning. Can I turn off the radio? Strange ritual. What do you mean by that? Every day you ask me the same thing, just turn it off. I never really listen to you. Didn't you sleep well or you are still angry because of yesterday? I don't know. What is it?
I've never seen this side of you. What is it with you? No idea how much you mean to me, brother. What are you driving at? You found the letter? No. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about that I'm going to say farewell to the two of you quite soon. What does it mean, quite soon? Within a few days. In a few days? Well, of course it's not a problem, is it? Go! Just leave! Go without warning, just like you came into our lives! Why this anger, Runa? Let us depart as friends. You and Max will stay in my heart always. So that's it. You come into my life, take what you need, and then leave regardless of the consequences. Please don't be unfair. You were looking for someone to help take care of your brother, and I've been there for him. But now it's time for me to move on. You will find someone. How can you be so selfish? I was hoping you would understand. In this situation, I think it's for the best if I move on as soon as possible. You should know better. Son of a bitch. Same shit, different guy. You're the father again. Yeah, you're the bastard again. Just won't let me live in peace. Bastard! Who's to blame for all this? Him. <laughs> Never forget that. Yeah, yeah. Because into all this. Always remember that. 
Always. No wonder you are dreaming about him after getting out his pictures. Like you always do when you're wasted. Throw them away and be done with them. Don't you tell me what you do. The master simply abandoned me. He destroyed everything. Just disappeared. It's the best from me. And you are still here. It doesn't make any sense at all. Magnus, Magnus, stay with me. Don't leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. Living to another girl. What makes you feel that? With all those women listed in your address book? No, I'm only moving on. To another girl. Please don't be unreasonable again. I'm not good enough for you. No, it's not about that. You are wonderful. But I have to move on. I'll be in touch. Do you really want to let me and Max down? Let you down? I don't understand what you are talking about. You have everything you need. Max from me. This is Mr. Petrish Melham. So far he's been everywhere with me. He's almost become a part of me. When Max saw him, there was this glint in his eye. Petri will be in the good hands with him. Max doesn't need a job. He needs you, you mean a lot to him. Please understand, I have to go. I cannot stay. Thank you for everything from the bottom of my heart. seems like a really bad movie. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm serious. It's just so absurd. Yet it serves you. It's, it's, 
you don't have to pretend anything to me. It serves us both. I mean, I just cannot understand why you are doing this. There must be some deeper reason behind it. I just want to help. It's ridiculous to simply jump from dream to dream. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Go for a walk. Good idea for Ari. When did you make this decision? You really want to hear about that? At first, the only person who made my life worth living left me. 
Just luck. No, that's right. I know you probably hear these kind of stories all the time, but with me it's different. Somehow he didn't actually leave me. He just wasn't around often enough for it to be like that. He stopped feeding my dreams. However, a few days ago, I found out that my biggest wish will never come true. So right now, nothing makes sense anymore. Maybe even this doesn't make sense anymore. What you are doing is right. You even mentioned that it can go like this. Probably right. Trust me. You promise it will be painless. Yes, promise. Just one more thing, Lazarus. Yeah. I've got something for you. It's in my flat. What is it? My legacy. Take the keys. You will find it in my flat between the pictures. You will see. Promise that you are going to go. Is this orphanage smooth home?
You are not from here, are you? No, I'm just visiting for a couple of days. And uh, whose guests are you? Pastor Johansson. Are you a relative? No, just a good friend. I got to know him in Gothenburg before he took up his position here. Gotcha. Beautiful dog, isn't he? Yes. Three and noble dog. He has cost me a fortune. Life shouldn't be for sale. <laughs> I wouldn't have bought a dead dog. But who knows? In some countries they go straight to the pot. They eat dogs in China. Have you ever been there? Yes. And... Uh, was it tasty? <laughs> ah, China, China. Quite far away. Do you know someone there? I've met many people and visited many places during my journey. Okay. So, how long have you been traveling around? About five years, but every now and then I return to Gothenburg. So, probably you experience a lot. Good things and bad things. So, maybe you can show me some pictures of China. I don't have any pictures. You traveled that far and you didn't even take any pictures? Everything I experienced I wrote down and I have it in my memory. So you wrote a book? Mm, no, letters. It's my companion in Gothenburg. He cannot travel himself, that is why I let him share all my experiences. Gotcha. And uh, where are you heading next? Home. I mean, first to Gothenburg to meet my companion. So, I wish you good luck. And next time, do not forget to take some pictures for me. Gotcha. gotcha. to go to our receptionist, Linda Borg. It's, uh, after entering the building, it's the first door to the left. Thank you. Good luck. Come in. Hello, I have a small request which I would like to ask you. Please, take a seat. because I'm looking for an old friend, La Saliandi. Yes, we have a file on her, La Saliandi. So, what can you tell me? I'm sorry, 
I'm not allowed to give you details from our database. Please, it really is important for me. I really, I really cannot do it. Can't you make an exception in my case? Is this once? I can assure you at least that there is no current address in the file of Mr. Yandi. Thanks anyway. Listen, it's written in the file that Lasse only had one close friend here, Ari Kielva. Where can I find him? Gothenburg. It's written here that he left the orphanage and got a job in Gothenburg. But I did not tell you that, okay? Could you please open the door? I have a message for your neighbor Ari. Ari Kielva. Uh, you'd better come straight upstairs. Uppermost floor. Why? That's a long story. Hi. What's with Mr. Kielva? He's... Just come inside for a second. You want some coffee or a beer? Thanks for the dinners. to visit you. Ari? I haven't seen you around before. Yeah. You are sitting down. That's good. Why? What is the best way to explain it? What? Explain what? Uh, well, he's dead. Dead? It can't be. <laughs> well, it can. Suicide. wasn't alive anymore. Virtually never got out of this house. And his only visitors were the supermarket delivery service and the pizza game. Want a cigarette? Thanks, Nicolas. So what did you want from Ari? Uh, he has some information I need. Really? What kind of information? It's a private thing. Let's see. There has to be some way into his life. I will see what I can do for you. So help. The doors here aren't so difficult to open. Thanks. Hey, easy, easy. Let's wait till it's dark and all those pensioners stop creeping around the staircase.
So on code, it looks exactly like the AX package. The computer must have been taken by the board. Nothing here, I found something. What if the guy comes back or someone sees the light? Ten minutes, okay? What is so important?
So where have you been prowling around again? Probably boozing all night. Who do you think you are? You'll never become anything. It's none of your business what I think. It's how it's my business. I'm still your mother. Whatever. Want some coffee? Don't change the subject. You think I went through the torment of your birth to see you throwing your life away? So far it hasn't bothered you. It can't go on like this. Not again. You lazy bastard! You're becoming too much like your father. It's the one time you went out and earned some money and got me out of this hell. Oh yeah, great plan. You had it before. You had it thousand times before. I don't give a shit about all this here. I don't give a shit about you. Leave me alone, finish your breakfast beer and shut up! I beg your pardon? Don't talk to me like that. After all, I'm your mother. I'm the only thing you can. Oh, no, no. You want that you're the only thing I have. Since I was a child, you've tried to make me depend by letting me feel guilty about everything. Since I was a child, you've tried to convince me that I'm a loser. And yes, of course, it's my fault that you have to live like this. Of course. Yes, it's your fault. You and your bloody father. You both ruined my life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. hadn't involved yourself with this asshole, if he hadn't fucked you, we could both have one big problem less right now. What did I do? I deserve better. You're so pathetic. Sitting here whining and boozing all the time. No one is going to take you. I certainly not. Forget it. How much such a small change of perspective sometimes can give you? Hello, Lasse. How was your journey to Gothenburg? I'm sorry, do we know each other? I'm a close friend of Ari. Ari? We want to go together on a journey. He's waiting for us there. He was so impatient that he left a couple of days ago. <laughs> it sounds strange. Did something happen? Well, I mean... He stayed at home a lot and didn't have many visitors, you know. He finally wanted to get going. Did he say anything? Only that I should meet with you and you will show me the way. He inaugurated you? Yeah. In that case, we can make our way together. <laughs> Good. All right. I will have done the right thing. And really soon we will be reunited. That's true. Shall we go? Yes, our train leaves soon.
Why are you looking stupidly at me? You parasite! Sorry, just leave me alone. Now you are telling me what to do? No one tells me what to do. Least of all, someone like you. So you must be something better. You can bet your life on it. What is happening here? Yeah, no. But you have been pestering me. Oh yeah, just a little difference of opinion. Thanks for it. What was worth getting in such rage about? Just had to let off some steam. Should try it sometime. Somehow I get the feeling you need it. Went with a woman. My car. A woman? Yeah. They got to know each other in some online chat. Seems in my absence more happened than I ever could have anticipated. I'm glad for Ari that he found someone he thinks is worth. Apart from you, of course. Yeah, they seem to be quite happy. Must have changed a lot. But what I don't understand is that he inaugurated so many. Actually, we wanted to go this way alone. Only the two of us. He was just waiting until I was prepared for it. Now we are prepared. Yes. My years of travel are over. I've seen the world like I was instructed to. I've learned enough about the people in it and I'm, I found myself. My decision is made. to settle down at the inner yard with my family and those whose spirits share the same values as me. The inner yard? Not in Finland. Isn't it almost at the end of the world? What is so special about this place? Are we really did not tell you? Even though he chose you? No. Told me that I'm worthy. And that I'm to go. I shall follow, I mean, with you. He really did not tell me anymore? No, he only told me that you will explain everything to me. Our destination is Valkama. Poetic. Community is situated far away from the hectic rush of civilization and all its sinister spin offs. All without distress, envy, and hatreds, but full of pleasure, full of love, and security. Inhabitants of this blessed village have their own culture. A culture which is based on harmony among themselves and the vicinity of nature.
Or what now? Tomorrow we are traveling further towards the inner area by bus. So let's go shopping then. Very good idea. There is still a long way to go. It's to his own. So what now? We are looking for a quiet place to eat and to spend the night. Somehow everything is different from in my dreams. Well, I think it's wonderful. If I only consider that just yesterday I was in crappy Gothenburg and now here. When I was talking about the destination of our journey, a short while ago. Did you really share the same desire as me? What are you getting at? Do you think it doesn't mean as much to me as it does to you? Good heavens, no. After all, you are a chosen one. You have been selected by Ari. And in his choice, I put my faith. You know, Lasse, if everything is the way you said, it's probably the best thing that could happen to me. A real clean slate. Are you not satisfied with your past life? I'd rather you didn't remind me of it. It seems to me as if only yesterday I was another person. Did you want to tell me now? Better not. Everyone has his dark secrets. This journey is also based on mutual trust. Still, I sense that our spirits are closer to each other than I previously thought. I just need time to figure you out. What exactly is our destination? Southeast of Inari. Along the shores of the Inari area. There will be signs to show us the right way. Hello. 
my rags. It's just a change of scenery. I'm not fond of such places. It's precisely why we are fond of going on this journey. To leave such things behind. I know. But let us celebrate one last time. And then drink. Call it like you want. This is nothing for me. Well, if you want to celebrate once again, do it. One. In that case, I would rather go for a walk to say that the weekend is a different. Okay. So where shall we meet? I will come along in the little one. When? Into three hours. Close community. You don't seem to be local. No one, I'm Gatlinburg. You are quite sweet. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. <laughs> just a few breaths. Can I just kiss you? Know, my little heart. Yeah. My little heart. Yeah. So, what brings you here, sweetheart? Are you on holiday or are you the criminal on the run? Somehow we're all on the run, are you? Stop bombing, just you know. <laughs> are those all lab done? Believe me. Go fuck yourself, it's good for stress. Right, that's it. Hey, stop it. Ready, okay? Yes. Fuck off. If I ever see your face, I don't hear again. Class. Nothing would have happened to me. I got my Swedish Jesus with me. Hey, come on, Jesus. Swedish Jesus. It was a good one, wasn't it? Even though I'm not a believer, it's sacrilegious what you are saying. Hey, it was a compliment. Please forget it, you are drunk. We are going back to our tent. Just leave it. Who dare you give me such a person? Hey, I heard that man. You think I'm not good enough for you and your paradise? Hey, I'm serious. You are my Jesus. My Redeemer. You don't have a clue. I'm sleepy. I just want to go to sleep.
Lasse! Lasse! Are you two okay? Yes, of course, but where are you calling from? I'm in the What the hell are you doing there? Uma... Things are getting out of hand. I almost don't have the strength anymore to continue the journey. Yelivara is only a stopover. I have to go on to the inner Yervi. Where do you want to go? To Inari in Finland. Okay. So we will meet there. I have to see you again. When will you be there? Probably today in the evening. There is a church. I have to go, I cannot stay here any longer. Lasse! I need a flight from Halmstad to Inari in Northern Finland. Anna? Could you take my bridle for a while again? Yes, right now. No, it's an emergency.
Adresse. Hängt jetzt schon wieder hier. What are you doing? Please, Sega, I'm so happy to see you again. My whole world has fallen apart. Just calm down, please. What happened? It's impossible to tell you everything in brief. At least have a try. Come on, let's take a seat. Ari is dead. I know. How do you know? It... It's been in the newspaper. I've been to Pinnersburg. I was searching for you. I've also been to the orphanage. Orphanage Schmerham? Yes where you were abandoned by your parents. You know that is not how it was. I was supposed to stay there until my father had established his community here. Later on he sent me to see the world. So I would appreciate his creation more. Your father? What community? I don't understand anything. What's with your mother? Where is she? Okay. Let's look for a hotel and tomorrow we'll return to... I can't go back so close to my home. I have to return home to my father. Okay. Okay. Why don't you tell me more about... About what? Your father, the community, Ari, everything. I don't know where to start. We've already been walking for hours and hours. Are you sure you know where it is? Father said along the western shore. And I will recognize the signs. When was the last time you talked to him? Two years ago. When you write letters. I don't understand. I don't have any fixed address, so where does he send them? Ari. I visited him once in a while during my years of travel. 
but you have never been here. Lasse. Yes? Are you sure you want to live here, in this community? Of course. And you and Max, you two can also be part of this idyllic and perfect world. Just let's go. Who is living here? In solitude. Maybe a hunter or fisherman. Or someone who is crazy. What about the bottles and the candles? Maybe he wants to expel the evil ghost of the wood. No, I'm serious. Many people who live in close communion with nature are superstitious. I often experience this during my journeys. And you really want to stay here? And what if the owner of this stuff returns? I want to go back to hotel. Okay, just calm down. We will spend here four hours, not more. I need to sleep. Two guests, after all. Anyway, I'm Timo. So you're Lasse's father? Is he here? My son finally followed my call. He is here. He's looking for the community. Where's the village? Is it close? You are talking about the community. Are you an initiate? No. You are too weak to live in here. What... what do you mean? We live a hard life full of sacrifice here. A community of like-minded people. Poetry every day. And a hard struggle for survival. Why can I be a part of it? You couldn't cope with the life here. You are much, much too weak to survive in nature. And Ari... Ari was confined to a wheelchair. How was he supposed to survive here? Ari? He never wrote to me about that. Even if he would never be one of us, he would be unworthy. What of kind the of community. place is this? What kind of pseudo elitist racist are you? Watch your words. I 
don't have to justify the community in the face of strangers. This is a place of perfection. A place of spiritual, pure, and elevated life. I have to move on. They are waiting for me. My son. Yes. My son has come. Why did you just leave? Don't you want to take me with you anymore? Don't I have a right to a fresh start? What did you do to Ari? I accompanied him on his last journey. No murderer! Murderer! I helped him. You deserted him. I was where? With Runa. With Runa? Amusing yourself with a woman? while Ari was sitting there in his dump and waiting to set off to the better world with you? And now you are blaming me for his suicide? I have been writing. He was already too late. He was already devastated by them. But together we wanted to... It should all be different. <laughs> yeah. It always turns out different than expected. I've met many people who figured that out. But this is my former life. Where is the Valkama? My son. Father. 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 No! No! You don't exist! No! 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 He poisoned the community! We don't want you here! I will protect Valkama! <laughs> Welcome to paradise.